the unlocked door. At home alone, I never thought to lock the door. Every click and tapping sound around the house had triggered my paranoia, but I forgot to lock the door. I glanced towards the big glass pane, fixing my eyes upon the figure lurking there. Our eyes met as he stood grinning, playing with the door handle, daring me to move. I saw the keys in front of me, and his grin grew wider. Fear flushed through my body as I expected the man to enter, but the figure just stood there, smearing his hand along the glass, and gripping the handle as if ready to open it. I kept looking at the key, but I knew it was too late. Still frozen in fear, I watched as the door opened slightly, and the cold, damp air flooded the room. A large, rough hand bent around the edge of the door while the figure stared at me, awaiting my reaction eagerly with an even more menacing grin. I did not disappoint him. I leapt from my chair and into the kitchen, closing the door behind me. I cowered in the corner of the room, waiting for the door to open, but it did not open. I waited for an hour, maybe three, without a sound from the kitchen door. I crept with one clenched fist back into an empty dining room. I relaxed my hand in great relief when the intruder was nowhere to be seen, but a feeling of dread still filled me. The key no longer rested on the table, and the doors were swung wide open. The cold and hollow darkness poured in and surrounded me.